Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading for the second half of May. From May 16th all the way through the 31st, general advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading and release what doesn't make sense for you. So I'll be pulling from these two decks. The first is my own, Silhouettes, and then we'll grab some cards from the Twin Flame Journey Oracle by Mystic Moon, and I will, of course, clarify with my tarot decks. So let's get into it, Sagittarius. So focusing on the second half of the month, what do we need to know? This is part one of your reading. If it resonates with you, the extended will be available on my Patreon page, and if you stick around to the end, you'll be able to see a preview of the extended reading. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. What do we need to know here? We are starting off with temptations. Not everything you see is meant for you to have. So some of those temptations could have resulted in infidelity in the partnership. So let's grab some additional cards here. We have loneliness. I've seen these clouds before, but I don't ever recall them looking so sad. It must feel this emptiness in my heart and the storm falling down from my eyes. So if you guys broke up as a result of infidelity in the partnership, they're coming through telling you, you know, they're going through a lot. They're feeling really lonely that you guys are not together. You could be listening to this and, you know, just not caring that they're lonely because they created some drama here. spinning out of control. You were always my peace without you. Everything in my life is falling apart. Losing you has brought my life into a state of chaos. So they're feeling it. They're definitely feeling it because you guys are not together at this point in time. We've got fond memories no matter where life takes us. You will forever be a part of my heart, my soul, my most cherished thoughts. And some of you guys could be connecting in the 5D. When our 3D world is spiraling out of control. That's interesting considering we've got spinning out of control right here. Here is where chaos cannot touch us. Here is where we can just be. So there's something referenced to chaos that happened. And sometimes that chaotic energy could be a tower moment that you guys have experienced. Some sort of upheaval in the relationship that might have contributed to a breakup or a separation. So let's let's find out. Let's see what else is going on here. So I'll be pulling from my 10 yellow tarot deck. Angels and spirit guides, please focusing on Sagittarius. So they're feeling like their life is just falling apart. They're feeling lonely. They might have cheated on you. Their life is falling apart. You represent the peace in their heart, in their life. What else for Sagittarius? They want a new beginning. Okay. They just want to be able to move, move forward, move on from what you guys have endured in the partnership. They're now coming through with a solid offer of commitment here. So if they cheated on you before... They are wanting to recommit to the partnership only, of course, if you're willing to give them a second chance. They want to let things go, whatever might have contributed to a possible tower moment here between the two of you. Three of Cups can sometimes represent a third party situation, but it also represents a new beginning. Certainly when it comes to your love connections, it can still culminate in a positive outcome here. But in order to get there, there's this need to release past baggage, and that ultimately could be what the Six of Swords represents, because it is a transition. It's leaving stuff behind and just moving on from it. You know, so if you can find forgiveness in your heart, Sagittarius, to allow this person back in, you have to fully forgive and not continue to, for example, punish them repeatedly for what's happened in the past. So once you do decide to detach and let go, that is giving this person an indication that they've been forgiven, that you're willing to give them a second chance. Some of you guys could have already had children together. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Empress here. 
So yeah, there could have been families involved. So not only did you guys break up the relationship, it could have also broken up the family. We might have a masculine here who wanted to have their adventures, who was tempted by other people. Third parties is what's presenting itself here, Sagittarius. So if this isn't your story this time, then, you know, that's okay. But this is coming through for those of you who have experienced this. Knight of Wands, you know, sometimes they don't really want to get too serious about a partnership. They don't want to commit to a relationship. They're not ready to settle down. They want to continue to have their adventures. You know, at the end of the day, everybody's got their own free will. If they want to be a part of your life, then they're going to have to rethink their plans for the future and ultimately what they feel the need to do because one path will lead them back to you. The other path will take them away from you and ultimately, Sagittarius, it's your call whether you allow will allow this person back in. We do have the Five of Cups, so I'm not surprised to see that considering somebody's really disappointed you here. Five of Cups representing loss, you know, the, the regrets that they have as a result of even entertaining other people and being tempted by another person. So they got themselves mixed up with some drama here. And because you guys have been through so much, it's going to take time to fix it. This is clarifying here that it did come to an end, but it's also making way for a transition for some necessary changes. So there are cards here talking about transitions. The Six of Swords represents that as well, to be able to move on, to be able to create change. And sometimes the change starts with us. Sometimes it starts with the individual who created all the drama they're gonna have to stop that cycle that certain behavior that got them entangled in drama to begin with so the death card here yes it represents something that came to an end but it could also represent a fresh start through changes that have been made in order for that fresh start to actually matter you know, so the Divine Masculine, they might have started off as the Knight of Wands, but they're now coming in as this King. Kings are ready for commitment. They're ready to manifest something pretty solid in the relationship, you know. King of Pentacles could be someone who's well-established in their career. Financially, they're good to go. The King of Pentacles is the type of partner that will stick around. Long-term commitment, you know, but clearly this was a part of the equation cheating and fidelity betrayal deception that was a part of the drama and so whoever did the cheating might be feeling really lonely because they're not with you and they've got regrets and they want to fix this okay so let's see what else needs to come forward Sagittarius, angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know for the second half of May? Somebody could be drinking too much, numbing their feelings, numbing their emotions. This could be the masculine and divine feminine. You know, maybe you've just decided to go in a whole different direction. Look at this, we have commitment. So this can, of course, also apply to somebody who's not ready to accept someone back in. There are opportunities for change, for new beginnings here. Ready for commitment. That's the king of pentacles, you know, ready for commitment, not wanting to deal with the drama of the seven of swords. So I feel there's the opportunity for you guys to move forward. To get onto the same page. Look at this. Somebody wants you back. Somebody wants to return. Somebody wants a reunion. And they're telling you here they're ready to commit, which we've already seen that. But maybe you're feeling stuck. You know, maybe you're not quite sure whether you want to take them back. 
This tribe could represent the family dynamic. Some of you guys could be single parents, you know, and you're not quite sure if you want your significant other or your ex to return because they messed up. So let's let's dig a little bit deeper here. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection Tarot. Somebody clearly wants to return. We do see that here. I'm just feeling Sagittarius. Some of you guys are not sure if you want to take them back. So let's see. The King of Wands. Another king coming through. So this is a masculine who has a very clear idea and vision of what they want to manifest with the feminine. Now, for some of my divine feminines, you could be cross-watching for a masculine representing the Sagittarian here. You guys have clearly been through something. Five of Swords, the conflicts, the tension in the relationship. And sometimes, you know, this card can represent an individual who is sneaking around, you know, not wanting to get caught, doing something shady. And that's clarified by the moon. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces here. This is an illusion right here. This is things, this could represent things that are hidden from you. It could represent affairs and lies and secrets, things of that nature. So that was a part of the drama, but they clearly want to start again. We've got the Ace of Cups right here. For some of you guys who are not interested in a reunion, you do have the opportunity for a new beginning in love. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Somebody's definitely caught up on the memories from the past and what you guys have shared together. They want a reunion. They, they truly do. Ten of Pentacles, perhaps Sagittarius. Your finances are looking up or improving. In love and romance, the Ten of Pentacles for me represents a very strong bond between two people. They still feel connected to you and they would love to be able to offer you the stability in a partnership that they maybe could not offer before. You make them happy. They would love to be able to offer this happiness right back to you. So things can still fall into place for you and this person. This can apply to other areas of your life as well, Sagittarius. So it may not have to be over, but I feel there's a lot here that's riding on your shoulders, whether you will give somebody another chance, give them another opportunity to return. That's totally your call. It's either that or you go in a new direction to find happiness and you will. You're not going to have any, any issues finding love again. But clearly there's someone from your past who's taken a look at their actions, their behavior, and they want to fix this. They want to make amends. So they, they want to come back. You guys have experienced that tower moment. But they're telling you here, look at these cards. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. The Star. And then we've got the Fool. They want a new beginning. They're being guided back to you. They're ready for commitment. Some of you guys, again, might have already had children or a family together or... You were already married and went into separation because of infidelity. This person who wants to return is ready to invest in the relationship fully, to meet you halfway, to do their part in the relationship. It's up to you if you allow them the opportunity to do that. Okay, so I'll leave part one here. Stay tuned, stick around for a preview of the extended reading. And if you'd like your own personal private reading, Sagittarius, that info is down below. I'll see you next time. Be the person that ended up hurting you, wanting to send you a message. Okay. I'm not surprised to see these cards though. We have tarnished, depreciated and devalued, diminished. And then we have love lessons, karmic connection. For some of you guys, this person that's coming through in the first part, as well as the second part of this reading, you could have been dealing with a karmic partner and there could absolutely be a lesson tied into that whole experience. Okay. We also have time presenting itself, waiting, delay, patience. So if they are, for example, waiting to communicate with you, if you're waiting to hear from them, for some of you guys, 
there is some sort of delay coming through there. And when it comes to the person who wants to return, they just have to be able to move in slowly rather than fast and furious, you know? I feel this is, as we can see, it's going to take time because you guys have been through some pretty challenging stuff, you know? So let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Luna tarot for your extended reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully they've learned these lessons because I feel they were mostly responsible for the breakup here. Look at this. They want to get things moving quickly, but there's a reason why there's a delay in that. Maybe because you don't want things to move quickly. Maybe because you feel the need to be able to think things through. Need a little bit more time to decide whether they even deserve the opportunity to return. You know? Let's see what else. So yeah, they're going to have to be patient. But they clearly want a new beginning. <laughs>